All right, everyone, would you please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Here. Councilwoman Marcotte? Here. Councilman Dooley? Here. Councilman Marcoccia? Here. Supervisor Calavita? Here. Good evening, everyone. We have our opportunity to address the board on agenda items. There being no one, we'll move forward. Approval of the minutes of the September 20th, 2022 town board meeting. Any amendments or modifications? No, there being none, someone care to make a motion to approve same as submitted? So, uh, so moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Next are reports of departments, boards, and commissions. Our law department report is first, Mr. Rader. Yes, good evening. First, I have a resolution authorizing the approval of an application for parade permit submitted by the East Chester Columbus Day Celebration Committee for the Columbus Day Parade, which will be held on Sunday, October 9th, 2022. Yeah, I'll make a motion this and ask that the town board consider waiving the fee uh, for this particular uh, uh, permit. Don't make care to make a second? Second. All right, please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Okay, next, I have a resolution authorizing the supervisor to execute and deliver a contract and agreement made between the town of East Chester and Stewart Amusement Company, Inc., to furnish amusement rides and concessions for the East Chester Columbus Day celebration at Lake Isle Country Club from October 7th, 2022 through October 10th, 2022. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marco? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Okay, next I have a resolution authorizing the supervisor to execute and deliver an entertainment service agreement made between the town of East Chester and Evo Band to provide musical entertainment at the East Chester Columbus Day celebration at Lake Isle Country Club on Saturday, October 8th, 2022. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Council, Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcoccia. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. Okay, next I have a resolution authorizing the supervisor to execute and deliver an entertainment service agreement made between the town of East Chester and FC Music Productions to provide musical entertainment at the East Chester Columbus Day celebration at Lake Isle Country Club on Sunday, October 9th, 2022. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. The next, a resolution authorizing the supervisor to execute and deliver an entertainment service agreement made between the town of East Chester and Frank Catania to provide entertainment at the East Chester Columbus Day celebration at Lake Isle Country Club on Saturday, October 8th, 2022. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Okay, next, a resolution authorizing the approval of the Town of Greenberg's Recreation Facilities and or Equipment Permit Application for the East Chester Columbus Day Celebration Committee's rental of the Town of Greenberg's Snowmobile Stage, I'm sorry, Showmobile Stage from October 5th, 2022 through October 10th, 2022 for use during the 2020 Columbus Day Carnival as again, which will be held uh, from October 7th through October 10th of 2022, and the fee for this rental of the equipment shall be $1,900. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Okay, next, resolution authorizing the supervisor to execute and deliver a fireworks performance contract between the town of East Chester and Starfire Corporation for a fireworks display for the East Chester Columbus Day celebration at Lake Isles Country Club on Sunday, October 9th, 2022. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcoccia. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. And next, I have a resolution authorizing a settlement of a certiorari proceeding instituted by Mary Ann D. Pope affecting the premises known as Section 49A, Block 2. Lot 1B, 75 Garth Road. Uh, the assessment year on this property uh, is 2021, the tax year 2022, 
and the total town tax refund on this property is $850.95. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. And lastly, I have a resolution authorizing a settlement of a search yard proceeding instituted by Anthony Scarcella, affecting the premises known as Section 39, Block 4, Lot 16, address being 204 Alpine Place in the town of Eastchester. The assessment years on this property are 2020 and 2021, tax years 2021 and 2022, and the total town tax refund on this property is $182.36. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Okay, that brings us to correspondence. We have a memo from the controller and some part-time seasonal employees in highway because leaf season is upon us. I'll make a motion to approve same and ask for a second. Second. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Dooley? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Next is a memorandum from the town clerk regarding request for the approval of the 2023 parking management plan for the Gray Rock commuter lot. And this uh, remains virtually unchanged since last year's plan. And this of course is for the direct benefit of our residents on uh, Garth Road. I'll make a motion to approve Sam and ask for a second. Second. Okay, please call the roll. Councilwoman Nicholson. Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte. Aye. Councilman Dooley. Aye. Councilman Marcoccia. Aye. Supervisor Calavita. Aye. There being no miscellaneous business, you move to council member reports. Councilman Marcoccia. Thank you, Supervisor. Just have a uh, brief report here. Uh, the Lake, uh, Lake Isle had its annual advisory board meeting on September 21st. Lake Isle had a really strong year across the board. Many improvements have been made, uh, in particular to the golf course. And now a new irrigation system is on deck uh, in the coming year. The pool has a brand new kitty playground that was uh, recently installed and very well received. Um, also tennis just had just a, a great year and, and, and uh, now they, they have their uh, outdoor bubble that uh, they have their bubble up so you can play outdoor tennis. And also Molinos and Gigantes had an excellent year. Um, they survived COVID and they're, they're thriving there. They're just doing really, really well. Um, I also want to congratulate the Lake Isle Advisory Board members who, who were re-elected to another two-year term. They are Brian Connolly, Donna DeMarco, and Joe Santamaria. And then I want to mention that Al Cower chose not to run again uh, this year. Um, we thank Al very much for his 20 plus years of service on the board. Uh, he made sure to stay on long enough to see pickleboard, pickleball, something that he's been a strong advocate for. Um, come to fruition and it's going to be at Leewood, uh, Leewood Park in the, in the near future. So um, he's done just such a great job there. I've, been, I've worked with him very closely for a number of years now and you know under his uh, guidance and leadership you see what's happened with, uh, with tennis and a lot of the other things at, at Lake Isle. So we thank him for his uh, dedicated service to, to Lake Isle. Um, and we also welcome our newest board member Chris um, Chavetto, Chavetto and wish him uh, very much success uh, in the future. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Councilman Dooley. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Another great job by the East Chester Italian American Citizens Club and the East Chester Irish American Social Club. Uh, they had their annual golf outing yesterday at Lake Isle and it was just a great success. The weather wasn't so great, but I guess it was Irish weather. And, and the, Irish went, the Irish went on and won again. Oh. So, you know, the, good luck for the Italians next year. But um, it was just a great event. Uh, so thank you for everyone there. Uh, also, we had a successful East Chester 5K run on Sunday. And I think there was, a, there was about 350 runners. So another great run there. And I just want to thank all the organizers for these great town events. All the, all the volunteers and all the sponsors. You know, without everybody pitching in, you know, these kinds of things wouldn't happen. So thanks to everyone. That concludes my report. Councilwoman Nicholson. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Good evening, everyone. Uh, news at the library this week uh, is the, they now offer 14 different passes as part of their museum pass program. The newest addition is the New York Transit Museum that's located in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, to make reservations, you could go to www.eastchesterlibrary.org 
and you could click on Museum Passes. Um, this week at the library, uh, October 9th and the 30th, they have game day for seniors from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. And we have a film series uh, on Friday, eve uh, Friday afternoon at 1.30. The movie is Elvis. Come one, come all. There's um, also a craft kit, autumn tree with buttons for ages four and up, Thursday, October 6th at 3 p.m. And for Saturday at 11 a.m., they have Robert, the guitar guy. He's fun, engaging, and uh, concert via Zoom. You can register also uh, at the uh, East Chester, www .org. Um And that is all I have for now. Thank you. Councilwoman Marcotte. Thank you, Supervisor. I uh, just wanted to wish everybody a happy Columbus Day weekend upcoming and just remind everybody that the carnival is this weekend up at Lake Isle. We have a, a great weekend planned for everybody. It begins Saturday, I'm sorry, Friday, runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The parade will step off from ICS at 3.30 on Sunday and fireworks will be at Lake Isle at 8.30. 30 on Sunday evening. Uh, it's a great weekend. There's something for everybody. Rides, food, tremendous entertainment. And of course, everybody is, is Italian this upcoming weekend. So um, we hope to see everybody out there. And I just wanted to also thank the many residents who attended the Historical Society dinner last Friday. And uh, the weekend was, the whole weekend was really the Historical Society events and the town yard sale. Um, at the library lot. I want to thank the library and the director, Tracy Wright, for being uh, hosting us there in the library lot. So uh, many thanks to some of the board members who attended and the Rotary Interact, some of the youth that came out and helped that evening, all of which lended to a tremendous success. So I thank them for that. And that concludes my report, Supervisor. Thank you. My own report, I just want to uh, recognize the uh, Joe DePippo golf outing, which took place last week. I want to thank EPD and the men and women of the department that put together the event. It's a lot of fun and everybody has a great time. Also, uh, as people are aware, we've concluded our negotiations with Sport Time. Uh, at our next meeting, we're going to be putting a matter on the agenda to approve an engineer for the purposes of the design of the Leewood Park renovation project. Uh, we are very excited about that, and we have a preliminary draft which we're honing down, and we'll move forward on that at our next meeting. Also, uh, we, will be, we will be scheduling a public workshop meeting on our draft of the new sign ordinance and copies will be available soon. Uh, you can get one in advance, of course, and we'll give you a date. I'm not sure what exactly date we'll have. We've got to see what's available in the building or maybe the community center, but it'll be a workshop meeting so people come and can talk about it uh, openly without having to you know, worry about the presence of a camera. And then eventually we'll have a public hearing, of course, here in this room. But we thought it might be a nice idea to have a workshop with everybody available. Uh, also, uh, the town board is also uh, contemplating um, an outdoor dining ordinance uh, with the passing of COVID now. A lot of people kind of like the idea of eating outside. We already have a part of our uh, zoning code that permits uh, outdoor dining for restaurants if you own the property. This would pertain to town-owned property. So we're going to give that a once-over, give it a look over. A lot of people think it's a good idea, so we may, uh, you know, we may just advance on something that would be effective come springtime. Also, uh, again, as uh, uh, Councilwoman Marcotte mentioned, Columbus Day is upon us, and of course, we want to recognize the contributions of Italian-Americans to this great nation, and that's really what Columbus Day is all about. And I also want to recognize Lawrence Mignon, who passed away. He uh, was a terrific guy. He served the East Chester Fire Department for 30 years, uh, and we certainly will miss him. He was, he was a very good man. Anyway, that concludes my report and brings us to the second opportunity to address the board. And there being none, someone can make a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. See you at the fair. Bye now. <laughs>